Hey guys, before I get started today, I just want to thank you guys so much for helping me reach 1k subs. I'm completely blown away by how much positive feedback I've received and how much I've grown since starting my channel just a few weeks ago. Thank you guys for the overwhelming amount of support and I hope I can continue to deliver quality Genshin Impact content week in and week out. With that said, if you're currently not subscribed and enjoy my videos, make sure you hit that button and turn on notifications. Again, I really want to express my gratitude to all my viewers, you really make what I do worth it. Anyways, let's get to it. Today we'll be covering weapon and artifact builds for Fischl. If you haven't checked my previous Fischl video featuring 7 tips to playing her most optimally, I've linked it above. For those of you who don't know, I'm official DPS main, currently AR39, and I've cleared up until floor 10 of the Spiral Abyss by playing her as my main DPS. I should be able to complete the entire dungeon once I can ascend to level 80 and have access to good 5 star artifacts. I won't be covering her support build in depth in this video, but generally if you're playing her support, the best weapons for her are Stringless, Favonius, and Viridescent which is the battle pass weapon in that order. For the artifact sets, in the early game you want to look for 2 set Sojourner into either 2 set Instructor, Exile, or Scholar in that order. Mid game you should look for 2 set Gladiator into 2 set Gambler or Instructor in that order. And in late game you should have 4 set Thundering Fury. Best stats for support are Electro Percent Damage, Elemental Mastery, Attack Percentage, and Energy Recharge in that order. Let's talk about weapons. In the early game, in terms of 3 star weapons, Slingshot is the best fit for her, but if you didn't roll it through Wishes, Recurve Bow is also a nice placeholder. These weapons are just temporary until you can get a better one. Slingshot Refinement Rank 5 does pretty decent damage late game, but the 4 and 5 star weapons provide much more value. In general, I wouldn't use too many resources to get them upgraded, just treat them as placeholders until you can get something better. Let's take a look at 4 and 5 star weapons. The best weapon for Fischl as you approach late game is as follows. Ammo's Bow, Skyward Harp, Compound Bow rank refi Refinement Rank 5, Rust Refinement Rank 1, Slingshot, and Veridescent. Ammo's and Skyward Harp are the 5 stars for a reason. They provide great secondary stats and relevant passives. Overall, the Ammo's Bow's passive will allow you to do, on average, more damage than Skyward Harp, but both are great choices if you have them. A lot of people trash on Compound Bow because its secondary stat is Physical Attack Percentage. However, comparing the damage that R5 Compound Bow does over R1 Rust, Compound's damage starts lower but ramps up to a higher ceiling at 5 stacks compared to the constant damage per attack that R1 Rust offers. It is also worth noting that the attack speed from Compound Bow's passive does matter, and especially with C1 Fischl, you're getting a lot more additional damage from the orb as well. Furthermore, in a DPS build where you're dealing white damage most of the time, there's really no difference between physical damage percentage and attack damage percentage stats. In fact, by the law of diminishing returns, it's actually optimal to spread out your stats instead of heavily investing in attack percentage. You do lose some damage from your skills and burst by opting for the compound over rust, but again, the majority of your damage from DPS Fischl is basic attacks. You can also take advantage of Pyro Resonance to compensate for this, and I'll talk about it more in depth in my Best Team 4 series. I factored in R5 Compound because it's a craftable free to play weapon, whereas getting rust at a higher refinement rank requires a lot of luck. However, if you do have refined rust, I would definitely go for that. I don't like Slingshot R5 because of the shortcomings with the range, and Veridescent is just very lackluster for a DPS build. For early game artifacts, it doesn't really matter what sets you have equipped. In fact, it's more important to equip artifacts with good stats than to force complete a 2 piece set. In terms of priority, look for base attack slash attack percentage, crit rate, and crit damage in that order. I wouldn't go for any physical damage percentage stats, especially if you're using compound. If you have the luxury, good artifact sets for the early game are Berserker and Sojourner. For both sets, I would only go 2 piece. For late game artifacts, you want to go 2 piece Gladiator with 2 piece Berserker. 
Depending on how much crit rate you roll as a primary stat, you can replace two-piece Berserker with either two-piece Bloodstained Chivalry if you're not using Compound, or two-piece Braveheart or Sojourner. Stats that are most important in terms of priority are crit damage, crit rate, and attack percentage in that order. Generally, you want to sit at around 60 to 70% crit rate and 120 to 140% crit damage. Anything above that will net you diminishing returns, and you should look to invest in other stats like attack percentage. For DPS Fischl, C1 is the most important. It will immediately give you a sizable increase in damage. Outside of that, any additional constellations are not really necessary and just icing on the cake, since they help increase your electro damage profile. Level all of your Fischl's talents to full, but always prioritize her basic attack talent before everything else. That's it for my official DPS build guide. I hope this will prove helpful to you guys and give you guys a better understanding of what works best when playing her as your main carry. Machine Gun Fischl is a lot of fun and I'm so glad I was able to pick up this character as my main. Please leave a comment below, I'd like to hear how you guys are currently building her and how she fits in your team comp. If you learned something from this video, please make sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you can keep up to date with all my Genshin Impact content. Thanks for watching, till next time.